wanted to give an update on the garden. Some things have changed, some things have died, some things, like my sunflower plants, have gotten huge. Some of them are dying, I don't know why. Uh, bees love it though, as you can see. And you know what, that keeps them over here and out of my house. Watermelons are doing fantastic. Uh, they're huge. Here's one right here that's actually growing a melon. There's that one there. Um, I don't think down here I have any more. A couple of them are starting down there. But down here, where's the other ones? They're down here. Uh, these two, that one and that one. This one's like hanging. This one's dead, I guess. I should probably take that off yeah, some other time. Uh, I, I don't know why I figured it would just have one watermelon per plant, but that's what I thought. Uh, beans aren't doing so hot. These ones that have had this odd color to them are dead, basically. Uh, they're not producing any new fruit, and the fruit they might have has died. These ones are still okay, and they're still producing fruit. The tomatoes are even more massive. There is a habanero plant down here somewhere that had a habanero on it. Uh, it was like right here. I can't find it anymore because it's... Wh where's the cage? Okay, so the cage is right here. So it should be right here. Right? Ah, there it is. Right there. See if you can see that. Oh my gosh, there's a yellow habanero on there. I mistook it for a yellow tomato. It's right... Yeah, you probably can't see it. It's right down in there. There it is. Uh, tomato plant, still doing great. Uh, I made, um, a couple weeks ago I made two pints of salsa, and then the next week I made four more, and then last weekend I made another quart, uh, and it's still producing. Uh, and it's huge. I mean, I, I might have to back up a little bit, because look at it. And this isn't even the full breadth of it. We'll have to go up on the deck in a minute and we'll see more. But all these little flowers are going to be tomatoes. Um, these is what left of my uh, lettuce. This batch wasn't doing so well. So there was the batch. Huh, that's a hole. Is there a snake or something in there? Huh. Um, so there was the first batch which was in here which was huge. And I ate that and I planted two more two weeks apart. And I ate those and I planted this like three weeks ago. And it's been really dry and they're just not doing very well. Plus this tomato, and by the way, this is one root. This is one root down in here. This is the cage for it. I, I had to take a lot of stuff and tie it because it was just falling over. Uh, I couldn't keep it to stay, I couldn't get it to stay up any other way. There are some more uh, onions down in here. Whoops, that was an onion that I just pulled out of the ground. I've got uh, water, it's really dry in here right now. Uh, these are doing great, I mean, it's big enough to get them out of a supermarket. Doing great, doing great. Um, where's the other one? This one, I don't think has any more on it. Uh, especially with this tomato on top of it. Uh, jalapenos, I've got some new ones coming in. These are the two red tomato plants which are both huge. They're both just a mess because they got so big I couldn't do anything with them. I mean, I had to tie stuff up. I put it up over here. It's just huge. But let's come up here. Oh, by the way, most of my things died. Rosemary died for the largest part. That rosemary was already dead. Oregano's on its way out. Basil and dill was dead a long time ago. And that time is doing okay. But look at this. This is the other side of that tomato plant. Look at it. It's huge. It's growing up here. I mean, I would never have guessed a tomato plant could get this big. Never would have guessed. But I still got tomatoes, and so I gotta figure out something else to do with tomatoes, because I got so much salsa now, I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> 